guys, welcome back to the Invitational League of Oceania. We do have the last match of today. This is between Exhilarated and Kraken Up. And, the, and this is game number one. Once again joining me is Timmy. How are you doing, man? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. And it looks like we have a very, very quick and band stage already coming through here. Yeah, Maybe they've already made up their minds. They know <laughs> yeah. exactly what they want. So we're going to have to work quick here. we got a Sylvanas pick up here. Very strong in the dual lane. On the other side, we're going to see a Sirkat and a Neath. Both uh, very strong. Sirkat, I haven't actually seen a lot of her uh, I as think of we recent. Got, we got one match in the Dean Kamikaze game. And that was when uh, Liquid Renegade was on that in game number one. And he, he did actually he did quite well. But unfortunately, they did lose that game. Yeah, so Cat, like with the meta uh, at the moment being very heavily dependent on the early game, Sir Cat uh, doesn't see a lot of action, but she's still a very strong late game. Uh, at the moment, our, be our uh, bands are Ymir, Bastet, and Bologna on the side of Accelerated, and Kraken Up have banned out on her, uh, on her Thor and uh, Athena. Maybe this was another remake because they remade and then Maybe. they went blind pig, but then they went oh let's yeah. let's let's quickly go through like the direwolves and uh, I'm yeah, not sure who they were against, but yeah. And Mister, if that's the case, Mister Digital has just been a troll saying who who did I pick? Do I, yeah. I can't remember. Um, hmm, hmm. But yeah, well, we're going to go ahead and see how your new star picked up here. Um, very strong mobility. Very very strong uh, utility he's a very slippery target to get uh get hold of with those portals and uh thresholds um very it's gonna be very strong but just how strong is he gonna be against poseidon because his the thing about the uh portals is that you can't pass through them if you're crippled yeah that's a, another thing that's very interesting Giannis is very very good and one of wizard who played very well on it today with pulling up some hot snipes with the three space and time uh it, it went very very well for them so hopefully kira uh sorry mid lane and mr digital uh can do very well with this yes we're gonna some... see no go on sorry uh, maxon is now jungler for accelerated and he was a substitute for avant guard in the jungle there but he has moved on to this main roster of accelerated and he is a scary jungler he is very very good he so. is he is crazy he's got such great rotations he's got such uh good uh abilities in the team fights as well and he's got a long history with ginger so he's got good synergy between uh, the two of them Something I learned yesterday is that Ginger is one of the fastest sort of 15, uh, maybe under 16 uh, people yeah, in, in real life. Like, yeah, he's he's very young and he's a sportsman as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, although people who play games don't play sports, pff, that doesn't happen. Uh, but um, yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great. I'm, I'm very excited to see how Maxon does and um, how exhilarated go against... Uh, cracking up I'm, I'm excited for this i'm excited as well guys we will be right back we will be one minute jumping straight into this match between uh cracking up and exhilarated
guys welcome into this game number one of match number four last matchup of the day we do start off with a pause right away but we will skip through this easy peasy to me how are you feeling about this game i'm feeling very uh very hyped for this um these uh two teams have done a lot in the past and i'm very excited for this matchup here me too i who, who are your predictions for this for for this match Predictions, um, well, we talked uh, early game, we're going to see uh, a Hercules and a Bakasura solo, um, that can go either way, really, Hercules is very strong, um, very hard to deal with, but Bakasura has that burst down potential with the Regurgitate. Um, in the jungle, Maxim definitely has the early game advantage, uh, at level 5, Humbus can just do so much, where Sir Cat can uh, come online a bit later. Uh, Poseidon versus Yunus is a very interesting matchup. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. Really comes down to player ability, and then the solo, um, not solo, sorry, uh, the solo lane is kind of a mix. We got uh, so Ryan's who falls off a little bit in terms of damage late game, whereas Gab gets very strong, very uh, um, controlling towards the late game. Need falling off uh, quite hard uh, late game, especially in comparison to Shivalonke. So it's very it's very mixed at the moment. We're just gonna this gonna really come down to play a skill. Mm -hmm. And yeah, oh, another pause coming out. So while we're in this pause, shall we do introductions? Do you want to take the first one? Sure. On the left side of the player UI, fine from the blue, uh, blue side, we have accelerated El Kiro as Hercules in your solo lane. Max and playing Hunbots in the jungle, Flago will be Poseidon in the mid lane, and your dual lane will be Prinzo and Ginger playing Sulfanas and Shibalonke. And on the Chaos side of the map, the solo lane will be Apples as the Barkasura, Skitza as our jungle, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Sir Kit in the mid lane will be Mr. Digital on the Giannis, and our dual lane will be made up of Linky Bill and Kira Hunter on Gib and Neath. And oh, Gib and Neath early game. Very, very good. However, not not the best, but Neath is by far one of the strongest uh, AD carries early game. Neath is definitely very good. Um, the thing about Geb though is he's very he's very passive early. The Stone Shield can't do a whole lot to protect anyone or himself. It's really just used for a cleanse, and there's not really a whole lot that uh, he can cleanse um, of high value. We're gonna see oh uh, very close nature scrubs just tickling the back foot of Kiro Hunter. Um, he doesn't manage to pick him up there, but if he did, that would have been a guaranteed kill. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, Geb is very passive because that stone shield is so weak. The Cataclysm doesn't do a whole lot, and the, uh, the Shockwaves is only really saving grace, but even that only does 90 damage. If he does that point-blank range, the Shockwave Ooh. does more damage the closer you are towards him. And Skitza looked for the back camps there, but unfortunately, uh, Maxon and Alkira already took them, and he, he came out with nothing, and Mr. Digital now in trouble. He tries to use the portal, but like you said, it cripples, and now Maxon's going to pick him up with the Somersault, but here, Skitza, can you return the kill? That's a Cobra's Kiss landing, and ooh, he's taking very low. Tidal Surge will not land on the Skitza, but oh, I nice love, first I love the hop. I love the little hop from Skitza, just as that uh, shark on the wave comes right past him. Goes, oh, no! Yeah, you know, everyone knows just Don't hopping around me. gives you more movement speed. Yeah. <laughs> For, just a disclaimer, it doesn't actually give you no, it <laughs> no, yeah, it's got no use in game. Actually, it's just for style points. Yep. <laughs> I've always wanted to jump and get knocked out by Hercules at the exact same time and see if it adds to the to the height. It used to actually have a purpose a um, long time ago in Season 1 yeah. when it was first introduced. Over on the right-hand side, however, Apple's game very low to the driving strike. Um, he needs to be careful with the Earthbreaker Earth just missing. Um, but as I was saying, back in Season 1 when the jump first came in, there was a little bit of an exploit where if you go and get hit by a crowd control, you could actually hop and the momentum would continue. So if you got stunned, you would actually be stunned away from where they wanted you to be. Fiano Evil, well placed there by Max and followed up by Flagos. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Beautifully played. The, the shark just eats up Mr. Digital and not looking good for Mr. Digital. Oh, and 2. Oh, actually, something very interesting is the Soul Stone pick up there. How do you feel yeah, about this on a Giannis? Um, I feel it's a bit hit and miss, right? Giannis doesn't have, really have... Like... 
Yunus has a lot of mobility, so if he does get low on health, he can slip away. However, I feel like the ability of the Vampiric Shroud healing you, healing you up would be of better benefit, just so you don't have to keep on slipping away. But we're going to see, probably going to see a lot of uh, good portals um, and unstable Vortex if he get, manages to get that passive on the Soul Stone, going to do a lot of damage. However, mm -hmm. not quite as much damage as a Kraken. Yeah, definitely not. A Kraken who is who levels above you. Oh, he's not even level 5 yet. I think he might hit it off this wave. Yes, he will. Yes, yes he will. He's uh, so through close. Space and time will be picked up. Uh, will it? Will he? He still... He doesn't actually, he doesn't actually get it. Um, he's like so one minion away. <laughs> the, thing, the thing about the towers is if, if the minion gets tagged by the tower, you don't get gold. Ooh, by the way, the solo lane, the Richard Tate goes down, and so is the last breath. El Kiro's being taken down there by Skitzer. Well played there. Yeah, so he's going to go, Maxim going to have to back off there a little bit. The last breath doing a lot of damage, but Skitzer doesn't have any mana. With any over coming out, the overhand smash is going to take him out, and he's just going to go ahead and pick up these minions. There's a little nice cherry on top. Unfortunate uh, action coming out. Oh, does oh, the digital nose pencil. pencils right there? And unfortunately, the unstable vortex went around him. Oh, that was unfortunate. But uh... I, I would love to <laughs> like if you talk to Prince about that. I would absolutely laugh if he said, "I just wanted to blend it with the trees." Yeah, <laughs> this is what they're landing in like oh, a ninja. Speaking of ninja, Mr. Digital after Wrath of Terror, absolutely cool. beautiful timing in between the two of them. Willful managing to uh, absolutely secure that. No way for him to get out of there. Uh, Mr. Digital doesn't have any actives at the moment. He really needs to pick up an Aegis or even a bead so he can uh, get through those teleports while that Willful is on him. Mm -hmm, definitely, and that's that's the third time he's picked off by that Kraken. Fayor is just punishing him on that Giannis. It's yeah. very, very unfortunate uh, for Mr. Digital that... I, I want to say they're camping, but they're not camping. It's more just shutting down the late game as early Fayor as possible. Just being so crazy. it's good strategic. And... Fuego's just been absolutely crazy, and that's what you need to do on Poseidon. At level 5, you can just about kill anyone with that Kraken, or mm -hmm. at least do enough to... Uh, keep them away from your lane forever, however Mr. Digital doesn't have much of a choice, he needs to be in that mid lane. Mm -hmm. And oh, he's he's very, very far behind, he's 1000 gold? Close to 1000 gold behind. At 800 gold behind Flago, so yeah. that's, you know, that's a good two. Uh, El Kiro picks up apples, not too sure what happened there, that was, that was very, very quick. These kills are going down very fast all across the map here by Exhilarated. Wow. Looks like apples didn't actually manage to get the regurgitate off in time, so uh, either El Kiro managed to burst him down very quickly, or he just got him in there in a very clutch. We're going to see very strong positioning from uh, Exhilarated on these mid camps here at the six minute mark. Uh, you know, pick up the left one, but El Kiro is camping these right ones, just waiting for his team, trying to deter uh, Kraken up from doing anything. There's the ultimate, the, the darkest of nights, and the World Weaver coming across too. Linky Bill in trouble, he uses the shield, and the Cataclysm goes down as well. Flagel picks that one up, and there's the last breath onto Flagel. Uh, Skitzer jumps out of there, but that won't be a kill by far, but a decent amount of damage off. But it won't deter them from pushing down this mid lane. Mr. Digital actually using the through space and time offensively. You could see he went oh, from the mid camp between the two. Uh, Kira, he's in so much trouble. There's the oh, Lincoln. Run, run. And the Nature's Grass pulls him out of the, the, <laughs> the somersault, but the Warpool's able to pick him up there. You know, Max is just glad at, uh, at Prince Hall, like, really? Yeah. Really? I had it, but then I didn't have it, and that's all your fault. <laughs> and now I didn't even get that. Yeah, and now the Gulf Fury being taken down so quickly. That was... Double this one out down from Nathan McCrinsel. That was so fast. <laughs> that, that was actually so quick. Holy crap. Yeah, that, that was incredibly <laughs> quick. They've got a lot of early game damage uh, between Hercules, Poseidon, and the Hun Bots. And uh, the way they're going now, Ginger's going to be able to do a whole lot. Flago just... He just... I give up. Combo... 
comboed out Mr. Difficult okay, there. It's so no. difficult to, to know to notice when they pick up a kill. It's like, okay. Especially when so they first are down, this we're, guy, yeah. and they just get taken down. Like, oh, okay. There was a kill we, in the middle. We try to watch the health bars of uh, <laughs> the people, but they just go down so quickly. Apple's yeah. getting uh, pulled and pushed all around this lane, but that uh, Mystic Mal is going to do even more damage onto him. Maxim coming out, the Wajokushi okay, comes out. Oh, and here comes the Pinata! Unfortunately, it did miss the apples. Look to live another day, possibly until he comes back and might die again. And the aggression in the duo lane as well now too. Prinzel, is his nature's grasp? It is off cooldown, so he could go for a hot pull if he wanted. Skits are now jumping on. Shibalon Kaol does go down as the darkest of nights against Ginger with the large amount of damage, and that's a cataclysm. And the return, or oh, there's the, the three space and time. Ginger picks up Linky Bill while Flagel picks up Schizo there. That's a one for a two for nothing trade and one on each of the carries for Exhilarated. Oh, and Mr. Yeah. Digital's way out well, of position. Look oh, at this. he's going to get called out here. He didn't have uh, the vision here. He's in a very bad spot. He's not. All the rest of when you clip it, mate. You're gonna have to <laughs> absolutely gun it. Don't go that way, because there's uh, El Kiro waiting for you. Oh, he's gonna get caught out here. Even a mystical male could uh, kill him here. Oh no! Oh, the Tidal Surge dealt so much damage there, and Flagel picks that one up. Flagel is now 6 and 0. Wow, he's, he's doing quite a lot this match. Mr. Digital is just struggling this game. His team needs to really pick up the slack for him just so he can come back in here. Maybe need, he even gets a camp out that mid lane just so he can get some farm up. Mm hmm. And oh, 11 and 1 and 9 minutes into the game. So crazy. These, these two last two matchups between Avant and the Click and this one, cracking up and Exhilarated, going so quickly, they're so aggressive so early, and I, I love aggressive matches. I love early game, like, tension and, and all of this. This is amazing. Apples gets really, pulled yeah. and pushed into the wall, so he doesn't go over the wall. Actually, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, he, he, he collided with the wall as he was coming past, kind of went splat, but does keep him very safe there. Mm-hmm. I like that you can't get blown over walls like the old yeah, Arachne the, alt. If could, yeah, if you could get pulled over walls, that would be Hercules would be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Um, just for a side <laughs> note, if you're crippled, you don't actually move anyway. If you get knocked up towards uh, a Hercules or um, something like that, you don't actually move anyway. You just go straight up in the air just to prevent you from going anywhere. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Exhilarated. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna back off. Ginger's gonna drop this red buff for Flagor. Flagor's gonna get even stronger than he already is. He started off as Warlock Sash. He's got two of that. How much gold is he sitting on? Gold in hand. He's got 1,200. So he will. He is able to go back for the Warlock Sash right now if he so pleases. That Warlock Sash is gonna make him even harder to kill. He's yeah. So far ahead as if it was a moment as it is been. Oh god, what's that? Five levels above Mr. Digital, but if he starts... Uh, Five? Yeah, if he starts building up uh, Warlock Sash, he's gonna be incredibly hard to kill. Uh, Skitzer having a little bit of aggression onto Prince Or, but he's so fine, what are you gonna do? The, uh, <laughs> the, the nature's protection is gonna stun him, uh, root him out here. Oh, and there's the Shivalanka out there going aggressive over here in the dual lane. Kraken goes down with Kira Hans. The ginger picks that one up with the basic attack. Thank you, Bill, in a spot of trouble. Trouble, excuse me. And trouble. trouble. It is it's like triple the trouble that you're in. Because I'll take you more troubles. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> I would uh, also Maxon, like a truffle Maxon, if we should. Maxon's actually going to get spotted out by that ward, so it's because oh. I knew he had to get out of there. Um, Three space and time as he came through. Not gonna Why? hit, unfortunately. I think he wanted to try to get there quicker or maybe clear the wave out, but it didn't do. It was slightly off center there. Oh, Maxon goes aggressive. That overhand smash, though, dealt so much damage. Oh my god. It's crazy oh, how much oh, overhand smash actually Flagel. does. Flagel, Flagel, stop. <laughs> just stop. He's no. 7 no. and 0, oh, 12 minutes into the game. And he's just, these, those Krakens are just dealing so much damage. He hasn't, he hasn't even gone back yet. He's got 2.3 thousand gold in hand. He can finish off this Warlock Sash and even, and maybe... How much, how much go is it from Lost Artifact to Doom Mob? Uh, 1,100-ish, I think. Yeah, 1,150-ish. 
after this go through, he could go back, finish up World Sash, and even get Doom Mob. It's definitely a Doom Mob game for him. Mr. Digital one, uh, Apple's over there in the mid lane, take down Alkira, finally a kill for Mr. Digital. That's going to be very, very good for him to start coming back into this game, but the lead for Flagor is still... How much gold? Nearly 2k, all in the blink from Prinsor, and Maxon is there too. Where's the overhand smash? Will it come out? No, it won't. He's out of mana, and the He's Gib got the shield comes out. He could use that. He could if he would like, but he... Oh, Mr. Digital gets out on a sliver of health. Do you, think maybe, do you think maybe Maxon kind of felt sorry for him? Because he, he, he could definitely have thrown that sacred monkey out and killed him up. Maybe he had a little bit of mercy. Maybe he thought he wasn't in range because Mr. Digital was still like moving away and when you throw something but then you're also moving away at the same time it doesn't go the extended range because you're... Yeah, and that sort of is also affected by the threshold. Oh, the oh, so Flag out on the Apple is taking him down. Flag, oh, please stop. We want to look at <laughs> other people doing things. Um, very strange through space and time. Maybe he thought Flag was going to move up towards the... Mr. Digital you need to start using these through space and times more ut in a utility base as opposed to damage because it's very, yeah, it's very hard to snipe people across the map. And Ginger's going aggressive on Kahata. It's the Spirit Arrow went out, but the beads he did was running into the get wall replied. Yeah, I think, sure I think he, he knew he was dead. <laughs> yeah. I th yeah, I think he knew he was dead after ginger beads to that spirit arrow and there was nothing left of <clears throat> excuse me uh cure hunter's kit so he just was able to pick up that, that kill there and there's the last breath onto maxon but the fear no evil comes out as well and that's the return kill from maxon onto schizer uh, mr digital pulled in by the earthbreaker wrath of zero comes out excavate does does go down as well and linky bill one last hit from maxon will finish that one off and maxon, oh yeah. he teleported into the phoenix Whoops. Okie dokie. <laughs> and he's just I like, believe Nelson nope. threw the second monkey towards those minions and it bounced onto Winky Bill. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, because he was, he, I, I believe he was oh, far Apple's too caught. far away. Uh, nice. Apples. And that's a burden growth now onto Kirahata forces out the meds. And now they're pressuring this Phoenix 15 minutes into the game and the Phoenix goes down. Wow, this is very good. And Kraken onto Kirahata pushes him out of the whirlpool. Will he live because of it? The driving strike he pushed him out. He's, he's, <laughs> he's got a blue line straight to that fountain after that devastating Kraken. Oh, that was that was that was going to be a kill, but the the oh three space and time comes out again. The surrender photos but... come out here. Uh, hmm. Certainly from Kraken up, unless uh, Accelerate did want to be a bit of a troll. Oh, Mr. Digital! Oh, that yes, through space and time! That. that through space and time hit the squishiest member on Exhilarated, but took no damage from it. And that was Ginger. He he took barely any damage from it. And that's well, because yeah. uh, Mr. Hey, me, Digital has gone with utility. Let me put it this way. Prinzel, the support, is level 14. Mr. Digital just got 11. He's oh. six levels behind Flagor. This... that's... Oh god. He's had he granted he's had a very rough game, he's gone oh, focused down, uh, aggressed on very hard and you know he kind of needs to be next to a wall and not crippled um to be able to get away from anything. So that was a very good pickup uh from the accelerated game that ex uh Poseidon to counter the Yanus. Mm-hmm. Oh, when when you go utility Yanus with cooldown like straight up you're not dealing much damage, like, of course, yeah, it, it's great because he has his three and his pass he's, passive that increases damage dealt, but... He's also got no form of protection, no health, he doesn't even have Vampiric Shroud, so he's, any damage to him is pretty much permanent until he goes back. You know, you know evil evil. coming down, getting Linky Bill, but not really anyone else. There's the Wrath of Terry going down as well, Shivalanke oh, is down as well, Linky Bill in a spot of trouble, El Kira, will he get him? No he will not, Prinzel picks up Kira Hunt there in the mid lane, and Mr. Digital and Skits are forced to retreat, very low HP, both of them are, and I oh, just turned into Yoda. Linky Bill, he felt the air brush his ass as the buzz came out from Jinja, <laughs> he nearly went down there. It's not what you want at all, a bowler to the butt. Will not. I'm sure that would hurt a lot. <laughs> I just realized what I just said. Uh, <laughs> let's let's just let's just carry on. My turn started oh, now by <laughs> accelerated.
and <laughs> that is it picked up, but crack it up, and not able to. <laughs> I'm sorry. You need a moment? All professionalism just went oh, straight God. out the window. And we're going to go ahead and see the right hand tower we've gone. We're going to get focused down. It's really, a, really just want to pick up Ginger the rest of this money in the back. Ginger is in a very aggressive spot there. Uh, mm -hmm. He does get met, he does get uh, affected by one of uh, one of uh, Skitzer's abilities. That you can see the poison on him as the uh, just the lingering debuff. Yeah, now this aggression is sieging down this, oh, uh, sorry, this Phoenix and Prenzel blinks in, but no Wrath of Terror just yet. There it is, and the damage is coming out. There's the Kraken onto Mr. Digital. Mr. Digital able to pick him out, Max, and takes it down. Okay, so that was the quickest deer side ever. <laughs> that was so difficult to keep but up with. Please. <laughs> Crack and go, crack and run right up Mr. Digital's ass. That's where it went. <laughs> the shark just hit him up, and that's the game. That was a... 18 minute match, two games today that were under 20 minutes, 25 to 2, only two kills for Kraken Up, and I think Maxon definitely showing up today. Maxon and Flag are both doing great work uh, all around the board there. Mm-hmm. Maxon on his debut on this new team, but he he made it work very very well. And Maxon's not like man. He's yeah. He, he, I, I swear he must be psychic because he's got such great uh, rotations. He's got such great uh, initiation, disengagements, attacking everything. He's so on point. Mm-hmm. It's it's great. And Flagor with those Krakens dealing so much damage, and everyone on the side of. Uh, of Exhilarated were doing very, very well that entire match. Alkiro with sick picks, able to pick up apples quite a few times there too, shutting down the late game Bakasura, that is a monster. Uh, but guys, after that exciting game number one, we will be right back with game number two between Exhilarated and Kraken Up.